This is Sheldon, a nine-year-old thoroughbred gelding. He had not been started yet. Well, he had been saddled, but he showed an extreme reactivity to the saddle. So he has come to me to be started and has shown some of the same reactivity. So this is one of the this is the first ride that I've actually um, walked and sent him forward and started steering. I did a lot of this on the ground beforehand to make sure he was confident under saddle as he lacks quite a bit of confidence. Uh, I would like him to go more forward and be more free and more loose in his walking, but I want to accept only what he is able to give within his emotional tolerance. I was pleased with this ride, uh, even though he was a little bit um, waiting, tentative, uh, a bit slow, as far as, you know, a little reluctant to go. It's okay. I want him to build experiences of confidence, not criticize him like he's not doing enough. So I wanted people to be able to see that sometimes the first ride needs to be very, very slow, very, very easy, and stay within what the horse can process mentally and emotionally, not just physically. Um, he is a bit of a special case, but uh, I want to be this way with all the young ones, that they can feel confident in what they've accomplished and what they're learning so that their future is not based on being rushed or based on anything that might cause fear, um, but that it will be a positive experience and a clear experience that I can build on later. Time is well spent because I'm teaching him to go forward off the legs and how to turn. Later on, this could save my bacon. So, even though it's slow, he's still learning a lot. At this point, he's still fairly tentative, pretty shy, pretty timid in walking forward. I'm trying to encourage him in going forward without startling him or um, taking him to a place where he might want to panic. He does have a fairly impressive panic button, but right here he's starting to walk out a little more freely, and this is what I was waiting for. Okay, not so much right that moment. However, he does start to move more freely forward and feel a lot less stuck. And that's what I wanted to accomplish this day, is to have him end his lesson on a good note that moving freely forward is easy, not a problem, and he can do it and I'll be really pleased with him.